Welcome back to my channel. My name is Kate Van Leuven and in today's video I'm just gonna do a journal with me. So we're just gonna pull out the journal and have some fun. I've got an afternoon cup of coffee with me and this really cute mug that has cats on it that I got for my birthday. My birthday is coming up so this was like an early gift. I got these stickers at Target. So this is what the packaging looks like if you want to try to find them. This one looks like it comes with a lot. I haven't opened these yet. But these ones, it comes with three different types of sheets and I've already used them for today's spread actually. And this is what the packaging looks like. So now I can kind of organize how I want them to. They like put stickers to display them properly. It's kind of annoying. They're in between every one of them. These were $3.49 and these were $3.99 which you get a lot of stickers, so I'll definitely need to save a lot of these for next year and years to come. Like, honestly, I almost didn't buy them because there's so many. Like, I don't need this many of the same Halloween stickers because that's so specific, but they're cute. These stickers, these bat ones, they're like a felt, and these are from the Target dollar section. These I just found, like, at the end of the card aisle. Same with the other ones, but these from, were from the dollar section, and the dollar section actually has some stickers now. I feel like these were made for, like, little goodie bags or something, because they're, like, small little sheets, and there's a ton of them. Which, honestly, they're so cute. At Target, I also found a washi tape set that I liked. I try to avoid washi tape sets because like there's always some that I don't like out of it but these I think I'll actually use them all but yeah these are the scotch tape washi tapes and these are what they look like they're kind of space theme and they have stars which I really love these I swatched them in my journal so I'll show you those Target they really only sell sets of washi tape so I never really find washi tape there so here are the washi tapes all swatched I feel like these two were something I've been kind of keeping my eye out. Ones with better dark colors that have the metallic star details and things like that. But I'm really loving this one. It is dark purple and it has light purple stars and stuff. Also, this one's really fun. I like them all. Here's today's spray. I used one of the washi tapes and I used these Halloween stickers, which I have myself setting this up on my TikTok. I have a TikTok of this spread specifically. One thing I also discovered, I found these in my house. My mom must have bought them, but it's these calligraphy duos by Uli, and I really just like the brush tip side, and they are really satisfying to write with. I don't really like the color selection, but they are really satisfying. This Tuesday I did in the dark blue. Okay, so for today, this is today's spread. I kind of need to add something here. This page is going to be for here so I can continue writing because this is pretty much full already. And then I might set up some future pages or something. I use this one, which I don't really know why. This one's like my least favorite of the set. Okay, so I, I think I want to play around with some watercolor. So I'm actually going to skip a page because this paper does not hold watercolor. So I'll need to tape these two pieces of paper together afterward. So I'll start setting up for tomorrow. What color base do we want? I'm kind of feeling a teal color because of the teal accents in this. I'm just going to go over like with a wash of color because I love how it looks when you write over that. So these are the watercolors I use. Here is what they are called. I found them when I was really into art and I found it on a art YouTubers page, like people talking about it. And I was very intrigued and they are 
very cool, I'm not gonna lie. And they're great for traveling. And they're so much better than those little tins of watercolor because you get so many more colors packed into this. So they're watercolor sheets, which is so cool, pretty unique. So I'm trying to wash out the color a little with the water so it's not too crazy, but it doesn't really matter. This is great if you just need something therapeutic to do and you don't want to do like an actual watercolor piece and like think about it. You just kind of want to paint because that way you can utilize it at a later time. I have to be careful that I don't accidentally dip this into my coffee. I am afraid that I will do that. Sometimes I just like smudge it around with my hand. Should I do the other side a different color or keep it the same? I'm going to do it blue this side blue. This is what's so fun about having a journal is that you get to do whatever you want. So someone asked me in the comments who are my favorite YouTubers or like what YouTubers I watch. I watch a lot of YouTube. YouTube is kind of my background noise. A lot of people will watch shows on Netflix but I like watching lots of YouTube. So I watch a variety of YouTubers. As for journaling YouTubers, I will watch Gabriella, Rainbowholic, I love Rainbowholic, Amanda H. Lee, and I have been loving Paperworm's cat. I love putting her in the background while I'm journaling and just everything, like her flip throughs. She has a ton of flip throughs, so if you like flip throughs, you can go check her out. It's like very relaxing. Um, I'm trying to think of what other journaling videos I watch. Like just random ones. That's not like the main thing I watch on YouTube. I love it when people talk in journaling videos. Here my pages. Then I love watching commentary YouTubers and I really like the eBoys which is for commentary YouTubers. They're British. There's I'm Alex, Mimulus aka George, um, James Marriott, and Will and E. So I love watching all of them. And I'll watch like Cody Co and Noel and Danny Gonzalez, Drew Gooden, random YouTubers. I like Emma Chamberlain. Just like all over the place. Who I've been loving recently is Rose and Rosie. I've just been having a lot of their videos playing in the background along with Paper Worms Cat. Sometimes I'll watch like book YouTubers, which there's Noelle Gallagher and Mayana Reeves. A lot of times I'll click on random people. I just, I watch a lot of YouTube. Let's add some fun to this page. I kind of want to stick with keeping this like the turquoise side and, side and this like the blue side, but they'll all be for like one day. One person I love, she's kind of like a commentary YouTuber. She just posted recently, so I'm thinking of her. Core Trees, oh my god, she literally called out that people were saying it wrong, that it's not Core Treesy or something, that it's Court Reezy. I don't know. You get the gist. Love her. She is so funny. Who else can I think of? I don't know. I'm constantly finding new people. So it's constantly changing. My camera died, so I don't really know how long this will continue. But we're just gonna keep going now. I normally decorate my pages the morning of, just kind of as a fun little morning activity. But today I am decorating it now, just so I can film this video. This also means that I don't get to film it for TikTok, but it's fine because I haven't been doing that every day lately because I do like kind of having it as my own time. And just having fun with decorating it and not worrying about filming all the time. These are just so much fun to use. So I want to use them. Like a lot of times it's not even for the aesthetic. It's because it's satisfying to use. Oh, that matches the stickers pretty well. Silver or gold? It's a tough one. I feel like silver might go better, but I feel like the gold will stand out more and maybe pick up some of these little 
accents. So I'm going to go with the gold, actually. Now, one reason I don't like pre-decorating pages is because I want it to be specific to the day and the mood. But a big reason I don't pre-decorate decorate pages because I never know when I'm just going to do a random spread. But this one's fine because I have saved space for me to be able to finish today's page and also it's just tomorrow. But yeah, there are some people who like really pre-decorate, but personally I don't like pre-decorating too much. Sometimes I'll do it like a day in advance like right now just for fun. One of my favorite parts of journaling is how I get to just be creative and it's just fun and therapeutic. Just like doodling and painting and gluing things in. It's just really fun. So it's pretty easy to get this sparkle effect. All you do is you use a combination of these two shapes in different sizes. So it's this sparkle shape. It's kind of like a diamond but the lines are curved inward and then like a little plus sign. I would usually keep the plus signs as like the smaller ones. Just use a combination of those and have a variety. I like the look of this side more, I think. But this is like kind of a fun spread. I'll show you an example of where I did this. My camera keeps shutting off, so that's really fun. But what I wanted to show you guys was another spread where I've done um, watercolor backgrounds because I love how it looks when I write over it. So here's an example of doing a watercolor background. Same with like here. Yeah, I just think it's a lot of fun. It really spices up spreads and stuff. So I actually really like how this page turned out. I don't know. When I do the watercolor backgrounds and whatever, it really differentiates the pages, which I love because sometimes my pages kind of get repetitive. I am very excited about this journal also. I'm currently like about halfway or almost halfway and it hasn't been too long. So hopefully I'll have this journal completed sometime this month, I guess. I don't know. This, the stuff that's filled out is like maybe two weeks or something. So this whole journal should take me like a month to complete, which is really fun. I don't know. It's really exciting finishing a journal. So um, finding a smaller journal can be really fun. I've also been journaling a lot, so it goes by faster. But I think this will be like my new favorite journal of all my journals because I just like some of the spreads that I've done. Like I showed this on my TikTok. I like how I did this opening spread for October and like I like just the papers I used. I've just had a lot of fun with it. I have to actually go right now. I actually already wrapped up this video but I'm back. So the lighting might be a little darker, not quite sure but basically i went to get my dinner and eat so this is my spread for today i want to put this paper on here i'm just going to remove these and i'll add them back later i like taking pieces from my day and putting them in my spread and this was from the food bag from noodles and co and it matches this craft paper up here which i really like the look of so i'm going to add it to this spread and yes, this is a square glow stick. Whenever people see this on my TikTok, they're always wondering where I got it from. It's called Glue, G-L-O-O. -O. I just got a pack off Amazon. I had a TikTok do really well with this glue stick, so I find it kind of funny. Here's how it's looking. So I'll write in here and I might write on top of it even though I don't know how well you'll be able to see it if I do just write on top of this paper so maybe I'll avoid it. I also have this from the bag. Maybe I could do it across. I don't. Okay, I might need to do a little more rearranging if I do that. At this point, I'm just gonna remove these stickers from the side and we'll worry about them in a second. These stickers are not really wanting to stick to this paper. 
this bag. By the way, these pieces of paper are just ripped off of a bag. It was the bag that my food was in. I um, ripped off this noodles part because it just, this is really satisfying for me for some reason. So this is today's spread and I'll fill it in with writing. I don't know. I tend to kind of switch up my spreads and like tweak things as I'm going throughout the day. And then I need to glue these together because as you can see, it bleeds through, which this isn't actually too bad. Sometimes it gets way worse. So I tend to skip this just in case. I might just not tape these together and just still right over this. We'll see. Sometimes I just embrace this, but you also want to be cautious because I would be sad if I... But I didn't want to ruin this page, so... Try to get this flat as flat as possible. So this is Tuesday. And then here's Wednesday. And I feel like whatever spread do you do, like whatever you do to your page, I feel like it always looks better once you've filled it in with writing. The writing makes it so much more satisfying. Like, look at that. I love, like, after it's filled out with writing. So I can't wait to see this after I've completely filled it out. Same with this. I'm just going to cut to the outro now. Hopefully you enjoyed and just chilled out. I will see you in my next video. Thank you for watching, of course, and go check out my TikTok and my Etsy. I'll have them both in the description and I'll put them on the screen right now. Okay, goodbye.